Hi, I'm Xenia, a developer relations engineer on the Android team. Did you know that on average, users interact less than 7 seconds during one session with the watch? In this talk, you will learn how to enhance user experience using rotary input and help users to perform tasks within your app. There are three main sources of rotary input on wearable devices. First is a physical crown, also called a rotating side button. The other two are rotating bezels, either a physical bezel that rotates along the outer edge of the screen, or a touch bezel that includes a circular touch zone around the screen. Whilst interactions could slightly differ among these types, your app should utilize rotary input for certain use cases. The first use case is scrolling through content, which is default behavior that users expect from the app. As content scrolls on the screen, it's important to give users visual feedback in response to rotary interactions. For that, you can use position indicator when scrolling vertically or page indicator for horizontal scrolls. Now, let's see how you can implement this using Compose for Wear OS. Our app has a scaffold, and the content inside is a scaling lazy list filled with elements that can be scrolled vertically. Let's start with adding a scroll bar. Scaffold provides a basic layout structure for Wear apps and already has a slot for a scrolling indicator. Because the position indicator lives above the content, we need to hoist the state up above the scaffold. To show the scrolling progress on the right, we create a position indicator based on the list state object. We can now see the scroll bar when dragging our finger up and down, but not when using the crown. Now let's make the screen respond to rotary events. Scrollable views, including scaling lazy column, already have scrollable state, so adding rotary input support is super easy. To receive rotary scroll events, the composable must have focus, Therefore, the first step is to explicitly request focus using Focus Requester. The second step is to add on Rotary Scroll Event Modifier to intercept events that the system generates when a user turns the crown or rotates the basil. Each Rotary event has a vertical or horizontal amount to scroll in pixels that can be processed depending on the scroll direction of the container. The modifier also has a callback to indicate if the event is consumed and will stop even propagation to its parents in such case. That's it. Scrollable screen now handles sorter input and shows scroll bar with progress. The second use case is about rotary interactions to adjust discrete values. This can be used to control both single or multiple values. For example, adjusting brightness in the settings or selecting the numbers in the time picker when setting an alarm. Similar to scaling lazy column, Picker, slider, stepper, and other input composables need to have focus to get rotary events. In case of multiple scrollable targets on the screen, like for time picker, you will need to keep an own focus requester for each target and handle focus change accordingly when the user switches between hours and minutes with a tab. And lastly, your app can do custom actions in response to the rotary input. For example, to zoom in and out or to control volume in media app. As before, to receive events, your screen will need to gain focus. If your component doesn't natively support scrolling or has no UI, like volume control, you will need to handle scroll events yourself. This can be as simple as creating a custom state managed in view model and a custom callback that will be used to process rotary scroll events. And finally, we'll use our callback once we receive the events. Sensitivity of different rotary input sources could vary, producing different amount of scroll events with fixed or floating lengths. For smoothing transition between values, sometimes you will need to rate limit to sensitive events, add snapping or animations for transition. Otherwise, turning speed won't feel natural to the users. In Horologist, we already provide implementation for advanced use cases, so you get a lot of device-specific details handled for you. We have a modifier for scrollable components and for discrete values. Utilities to handle focus based on the life cycle or navigation events and audio UI library for volume control implementation with haptics. For testing, use Wear emulator in Android Studio to simulate rotary input events. That's it. 
For more information about building apps for Wear OS, check out the developer site and watch for upcoming new features in Compose Wear OS and Horologist. Thanks for watching.